have uh, how much memory allocation does each data type has inside the RAM so it's going to use this size of operator this size of keyword or it's perhaps like a function this size of operator is going to go directly to the memory and we are actually passing in the data type so the first data type th that we pass in is called the byte so this is the smallest and simplest one in C sharp programming so we, it's going to go directly to the memory and ask for how much uh, information can it store I think it can actually store about uh, one byte of information inside our memory now this inside this uh, right line uh, function what it does it just prints out a new line on our screen so this is a string this is a string value and we'll be discussing about string values and string data types in our uh, in this chapter actually so let's ju uh, let's just understand what this is doing this uh, right line function is doing this is printing this byte has a memory and if you look at the specifier this specifier holder is actually telling the compiler this is also like uh, passing a command to our compiler and this is going to uh, retrieve the value once the size of uh, operator uh, fetches the number of bytes for the data type of byte, a byte from the memory now suppose that it fetches uh, not suppose actually it's actually going to uh, fetch the value of one byte from the memory the size of operator is going to fetch one byte from the memory because a byte the data type of byte can store one single byte now it's going to fetch the number one because uh, that it's it it can only uh, uh, store one byte of data inside memory so it's going to fetch one and then when the compiler encounters this specifier it's going to um, replace that one in here so this is uh, it uh, so I've just repeated this code with all the other types of um, data types uh, all the other data types so it's going to just print that uh, number inside this string so the f zero inside this curly braces means the first you are actually uh, passing uh, one single uh, argument in this so this uh, the computer actually starts counting every number from zero it does not use one two three it starts from zero one two three so this we haven't actually passed in another so if we had uh, passed in another argument in here I, I I'm, I sh I'm sure that you're not understanding what an argument is but just bear with me I'll be explaining everything uh, in later chapters and in this chapter I'll be explaining the data types in this chapter now if I pass along another argument uh, suppose uh, maybe if I um, maybe what can it be maybe I can pass along another string this string can I can actually write string 2 now this string two, if I want to place this, uh, if I want to place this value, this is actually a string value. If I want to place this string value inside this string, this message that I I'm going to print on the screen, then I need to use another curly brace, and now I need to use the number one in here. So what it tells the comp uh, what it tells the uh, what the compiler actually sees is that it has got the uh, this is an argument for the compiler so it's going to retrieve a numeric value and it's going to replace this uh, zero holder or s uh, specifier with that one with that value f that we uh, have fetched from the memory and when it uh, encounters this uh, specifier inside the curly braces it's going to look into the second argument the second argument has a string so this string too will then be printed on uh, uh, in, uh, this string to this uh, string to inside this double quotation mark will be printed instead of this one uh, inside the curly braces so this is how we reference uh, each of our arguments on in our message so all the other data types all the other 12 data types this s byte s byte means short byte 
this uh, character or char I guess this is called char and the short this is the U short or unsigned short I'll be discussing about the difference between signed and unsigned basically this when you don't see uh, I guess this is not short but this is a signed bytes a signed byte sorry for that so basically sorry for that uh, basically when we encounter this u short or u int or u long it means unsigned unsigned it means positive values but we don't usually use any other thing uh, in uh, short int or long which uh, which can store both positive and negative values now we have got uh, u short or unsigned short we have got integer we have also got u long or unsigned long we have got float double decimal and boolean we'll be discussing all of them in this chapter now let's run this script and see how this works the first thing that we'll need to do is to compile this script uh, let's save this and let's see what we have in here we have got the um, oh one more thing that you shouldn't be using uh, you should be using this unsafe flag before this uh, method because we are actually directly accessing uh, the memory through our program which is quite harmful in real life situations but because we are trying to demonstrate uh, the memory allocations we are going to use it in here and now we need to use a flag in our command prompt now use this csc command and we need to use the flag of unsafe because it's going to directly access the memory and sometimes if you don't use this unsafe flag uh, in your command then the uh, command line or the compiler uh, will actually throw an exception or it will throw an error on your screen and it won't compile the code although this code is uh, safe uh, I mean it's this code is legal uh, it's correct now we need to pass along the name of our script So I've named it as D type memory allocation two, which means data type memory allocation. This is a this is quite a long name. You can actually use a shorter one. And let's compile this. And this is compiled. Now we are going to have an exe or executable file. Let's run this. D type memory allocation two dot exe now our program successfully prints out all the uh, bytes for each of this data type now you can actually see byte has called uh, byte has got one byte of storage space in our memory the sign byte has got one byte similarly the character or the char has got two bytes allocated for it inside the memory the short has got two bytes the unsigned short has got also two bytes uh, the int integer or uh, integer and unsigned integer has got four bytes the long and unsigned long has got eight bytes of storage space which means we can store really long uh, integer values inside using this long data type the float and the double has got um, the float has got four bytes for uh, memory allocation the double has got eight bytes of memory allocation decimal has got 16 bytes of memory allocation now this is amazing because um, decimal numbers can be quite large and doing computation on decimal numbers is quite strenuous for our system because it needs to it it's it needs quite a lot of time and uh, it, it also requires processor resources to compute to do even simple computation using decimals now boolean which has got two um, true and false values two values that's known as true and false either true or false it has got one byte of storage space now let's start discussing about the integral uh, part of our data type